Hey guys, this is Eric, and in this tutorial in motion, we're going to go over how to make this scene we're looking at right here. Every time I do it, it comes out a little different, so we'll see how it's going to come out. This time, as you can see, I have one here. Let's see, we have that one. Um, then we got this one here. Let me play it. You can see the earth is spinning, we got our sun, and... You know, I'm just going to show you the basics. Now, I've got a couple here that I've done a little more tweaking on that we're not going to have time to do. But you can get into it and add your own flares. As you can see right here, this one doesn't look too bad. I've added the uh, purple mist and the rotation of the earth. As you can see right there, it's rotating slowly. And this was done just with a little, taking a little more time. Okay. Also... I threw together one in shake, you know, just to see what it looks like here, as you can see. And I put the mist to it in shake, just to see the different things we got going on. So we're going to make that from scratch. So let's go ahead and get a new project going here. And line everything up. Okay, now you can go to Google Images and get your images of the Earth. As you can see here, they are just a flat map of the Earth. And I, there's this, and there'll be a cloud maps right along with it. Both of these are on Google Images. I'm going to import both of them right on top of one another. Okay. So I'm going to open up my project, and I want to change my cloud layer, the blend mode, to screen. Okay, now that gives us this cloud look over top of our Earth map. Let's select our group, go to our inspector. Let's make our group 3D. First, before we do that, let's go to Properties and scale it down. Like that right there. Now let's go to our group and make it 3D. Now, to our group, we're going to go to Add Filter, Distortion, Sphere. Now when we do this, you'll see that this kind of puts a sphere look to our globe. So I want to up the radius here. I mean, lower the radius down to where it's round, like so. Now we have our clouds and our earth, and we have our sphere filter put on it, and everything looks good. So now we're going to animate it to make it look like it's spinning. So make sure your playhead is at the beginning. Select your clouds. Select your 3D transform tool up here. Let's turn on our record button. Put our playhead at the end of our timeline. And let's just drag our cloud layer to the right a little bit. And as you see, when we do that, it spins. So I'm going to drag it about that far, like that. Then I'm going to place my playhead back at the beginning. Select my Earth map. Put the playhead at the end. And pull it over to the right a little bit. And it'll spin, as you can see. Now, well, that far looks good. Turn off my record button, and when I play this back, you'll see our Earth and cloud are spinning. Pretty simple stuff. Okay? So let's stop that, put our playhead back at the beginning. Now we have our basic... We have our basic Earth. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some stars behind that. So let's add a new group and pull it down below. Let's make sure this group is 3D, which it is. Let's make sure this group is in 3D, which it is. So to this group, we're going to go to our library. I want to type in stars, or star, and I want to select particle emitters. And then we're going to have our plethora of stars here, and I'm going to select star field 4, or maybe just regular star field with the blue in the center. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to drag and drop it on the group we just added. Okay, now we have our star field, so we want to open up our star field, select our blur 08, go to our inspector, and let's take the scale way up to about 600. But maybe let's try 400, maybe even a little lower than that. It depends on how big you make your earth. So now let's select our star field and adjust using our 3D transform tools here. Now we have this blue type mist going on behind our earth. Okay. So now what we want to do is, we can name our groups if we want to. We'll name this one 
stars and we'll name this up one up here earth now we're gonna make another group and we're gonna put this group in between our earth and stars like so okay now to this group we're gonna make our Sun so I'm gonna go up to our create shapes tool select the circle and let's draw a circle try to make it as perfect as you can now we have this circle as you can see it puts it between our stars and our earth let's select our field color and make it orange like so now we can go ahead and add some some glows and, and, and stuff so let's select our circle let's go to add filter glow glow now let's turn our opacity up and make some adjustments here let's turn our threshold down and when we do that you'll see we got what looks like a glowing sun so let's go back to our properties and up our scale a little bit which that's a little big and let's adjust it up here like this and if you wanted to you can select your circle if you want to add a filter, another glow, maybe some light rays, if you want, that'll kind of bring it out a little bit. Let's adjust our expansion, our glow amount, and our amount. And now let's select our circle again, and let's do some more adjusting here. I want it to look like it's barely poking out. Select our scale again. Just tweak this around till you like what you got. Now we got looks like a little sun poking out there. Now let's add some lights. 